Hey guys, so I'm out carp fishing today. Uh, my friend Angus is on his way. Uh, there's heaps of carp in here today, and there's also a really, really big goldfish. So that would be really cool to catch. Uh, you can see all of the movement in the water. There's big carp. There is also mullet in here. Um, but yeah, so far I've tracked about six or seven really large carp and one big goldfish <laughs> that would make a great um, video if we could pull in a big goldfish for you guys today there he is down there right down in there is the big goldfish I'm not sure if you can see him on camera but he's just passing in front of that bank uh, so I'm gonna bring in my line rebate it and get it back in the water all right guys there's my float down there so we're chasing big carp and goldfish okay we got him all right no he let go okay no way okay there's that big goldfish down there there's my float come on come on fishy So, uh, yeah, once Angus gets here, we'll be able to put a few more lines in along this creek. And um, hopefully we can actually pull out a few big carp and goldfish. That would be awesome. Look at that right there, guys. It's a big invasive goldfish. My mission today is to grab that guy. That would be really cool. Let's get back up this bank. I had to uh, detangle my line out of a tree. That wasn't fun. Whoop, another big carp over there. That big goldfish is over there. Another one down there, another carp. My rod just got pulled into the water. Here we go. Nice big carp on the end. Let's get this fella in here. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Over this way. Here we go, guys. Oh, no, 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 you bastard. Oh, no. So close. That was epic. Whoa. Here we go. <laughs> Angus has got one on. Where's your net? I'm the ultra one. He's only a little bit. He's a good fish, but it's a super skinny one. Come on. <laughs> There we go. One in the bag. Like that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. First carp of the day. Well, technically second, but first one up on dry bank. Good right job. in the corner of the mouth. Hey, B. Ooh. I reckon 40. Probably looking at 47. Mm, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe 50. Have you got him? I didn't bring my. I've got the brag button in the car. Yep. There's actually a lot of um, gold colouring in this one as well. Mm. In and around the some of them scales. Find, some of them you find take on a lighter or a darker colour. Yeah. The 
depending on the water that they're in, the water that they're around. So yep. you might have been just spending a lot more time. Yeah, I mean, even the fins are darker than this one. <clears throat> it might just be a, a normal coloured fish, but just been spending a lot more time up in that really, brackish. really uh, darker water up in amongst all the yeah. leaf litter and stuff right up the back of the creek. Oh, here we go. What's that? <laughs> yep. Wow, look at this beautiful one. going with a whole range of colours today. We've gone common, we've gone black, and we've gone very, very pretty gold. All right. And also rather fat. Wow. Oh. Not as big as the others. No, oh, wow, what a colouring. Iridescent gold. Not often I get two colours in a, in a session. <laughs> have to go for a swim to net them. Yeah. <laughs> I said I could see him cruising up along the edge of the grass there. Wow. Impressive. Yeah, he would look good in a pond. Mm. <laughs> yeah, see, that's what I said. It's just a... Yeah. Wow. Okay. How pretty are they? Right, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> I'm pinching all your fish. You are, it's all right. I've just become cameraman. <laughs> I don't mind. It's hard to do everything at once. Wow. What's the ducks? Oh, okay, yep. You can just tell by the way he's got that yeah, little side wind and the head. Just in front of the uh, duck, right there in front of that <laughs> duck is a snake. Well, that's not the snake I seen before. That's a tiny little fella. Yeah, the snake I seen before had a girth on him about that. It was a big one, but it did look like a keel back. Okay, what do we got here? You got another one? Yeah. Oh, another eel. Yeah, that's what I said. You got another round one like too. Oh, boy. All right. Nothing. Another long finned eel. Bloody hell. Sure. He looks like a long fin, yeah, he's a long fin. There we go, another eel. Whoop. Then he's he's off and running. Look at him go. He'll find his way back. And he's gone. So yeah, eels came chasing carp, but just catching <laughs> catching eels. Okay, so we've finished our adventure and Angus has caught six big carp. Uh, and uh, look at that one. I don't know about big. Wow, well, <laughs> six carp, including that beautiful gold one. Um, yes, we caught some eels and carp. No tilapia or anything else today, so just eels and carp. So the longest one being 53 centimeters. And most likely full of eggs. Some of them look pregnant. So here he is, the <laughs> proud fisherman with his catch. Black one and gold. Look at the variations in these guys. And then you've just got these creek scrubbers down the bottom here. Yeah, pretty cool. My carp, my carp got away, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> but I did land those couple of eels. So, um, I'm happy. It's been a good day. All right, see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye. So this is my 
why we remove these fish. Look how many eggs there is. I don't know, 100,000? There's a lot. Both sides of a fully packed. Wow. 100,000 eggs, easy, for sure. <laughs> wow. Yep. So yeah, that's why we do this. That's why we remove these critters from our waterways. They just devastate it. Again, we didn't catch any native fish, apart from the eels. But yeah, each one of these is capable of reproducing themselves tens of thousands of times over. And there's at least, yeah, probably all of these are pregnant, to be honest. Maybe not that one, but yeah.